Hello everybody. What I want to do now is show you how to do the uh, Are These Students at a Disadvantage activity. You see that I have the SPSS spreadsheet already filled out. But how did I get the data in? And so it's entered correctly. First I'm going to go to Variable View. And you notice that I entered school for the name. And this is a numeric variable. And I'm going to label the values for school. I'm going to call 1, and I'm going to define that as elite. And I'll add. And 2, I will define as south side. And then I will add that. And then click on OK. And I'm going to define that as a nominal measure. So what that will do then is label all the schools that are a 1 as elite and all the schools that are a 2 as south side. Then I'll go back to variable view and you notice I have score entered in for the second variable, the second column, and it's a scale measurement. So it's interval level. And I don't need to put anything in the values label because the scores are not categories. They're not grouping data. So you can see that this person is a uh, student at elite school and they had a reading score of 67. This person on the other hand is in Southside school and they had a reading score of 60. So now how do I uh, do the independent samples key test to see if there is a significant difference between these groups. So I want to test the claim that elite school students are reading significantly better according to their test scores than south side students. So I go to analyze, compare means, and independent samples t-test. For the test variable, that's the variable, the interval level variable, the score. School is the grouping variable, and I have to define that by using the numbers that I use to define each school. One is elite, two is south side, and I click on continue, and then I click on OK. And then I have my output, and you notice that you want to check to make sure there's 15 in each group. The mean for elite is 65.26. The mean for south side is 60.2. The standard deviation for elite is 8.12. And the standard deviation for south side is 6.04. You see they're not that far apart. In other words, one uh, standard deviation, one variance, if you will, is not five times the other. What we can do now is look at the independent samples t-test results. This particular portion of the output is the Levine's test for equality of variances. And since this f-test is not significant, in other words, this probability is much above 0.05, we can say that the variances between the groups, or the variability between the groups, is similar. Our T ratio is 1.939 with 28 degrees of freedom. We had 30 students across both groups and we use N minus 2 because we have two groups now that gives us 28 degrees of freedom. And our significance level is 0.063. So with a one-tail test, the parents claim that the elite students are scoring significantly higher cannot be accepted. And we say that this five-point difference between the uh, elite and south side school is due to sampling error. And this result is not significant. 